हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन स्विचिंग सो दिस पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद द प्रीवियस टॉपिक प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट इज वी डिस्कस्ड द सर्विसेस प्रोवाइडेड बाई द नेटवर्क लेयर इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर सो द वेरी नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू नो इज अबाउट स्विचिंग सो हियर विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू स्विचिंग first let me give you the introduction part of this see in the previous i had given you many uh, network scenarios wherein i used to give that okay this is the sender receiver and in between you have the devices connecting devices here for example routers so when you look at this particular scenario at this particular connection there is a pack the packet that comes okay at the input queue of the router okay uh, goes to the output port that means the router receives at the input port and places the packet on the output port there is a kind of switching taking place here so this switching is divided into two types packet switching and circuit switching packet switching is implemented in the network layer and once again this packet switching is categorized into two one is the datagram approach and another is the virtual circuit approach so these two approaches you you will be you will come to know about these two approaches in my today's video lecture as well you can have a comparison between these two approaches let me give you one scenario here or the datagram the first approach that is the datagram network now to make you understand the datagram network here i shall be sketching a network diagram let me take uh, okay these are the routers that are present in the network fine and to these routers are connected the different hosts let us take like this just an example you can give your uh, own network diagram for the data datagram approach so th these are the different nodes or host that are connected to the in the in the network let us give the names here you have the network you have the node a or the host a host b host c host d fine so now suppose if a packet that is the host a wants to send a packet to host b the packet is here the message is here so this message because if it is a lengthy message it will be get, it will get divided into packets now for example let us take this message is getting divided into four packets and i shall number the packets also packet 1 packet 2 and packet 3 packet 4 now in the datagram network or in this particular approach the packet once it reaches this router okay the router uh, the router can forward the packet onto this port can place the packet onto this port or can place the packet onto this port suppose if packet 1 is traversing via this okay because the destination is which one the destination is the host b the source is the host a host a is sending four packets here the first packet is traversing via via or uh, in this direction fine it has come it will come over here and then it reaches the destination host packet 2 has taken for example let us take this path fine packet 3 has also taken this path packet 4 has taken this path and all these packets they are trying to move towards the destination host so if you look here each of these packets have taken a different route to reach the destination and these routes okay depending on the congestion in the network a packet which has left very late that is the packet number 4 may reach first here and the packet which has left very early the very first one pack the very first one packet number 1 may reach in the last so that means we say the packets are are arriving out of order if you see here it was 1 2 3 4 in this particular sequence the packets were sent but at the receiving side packet 4 has come first followed by 2 1 and 3 so out of order packets 
then the other uh, processing will be done here the packets will be okay uh, made in order and then sent to the higher layer protocol that is the transport layer but here the main uh, this one the functionality in the datagram approach how it works is the packets are traveling or traversing in different routes to reach the destination so there is no fixed route decided for the datagram approach but if you take the virtual circuit approach virtual circuit approach before this packet starts traversing a route is decided between the source and the receiver now let us take for example if this source and the receiver if they have decided that they will be the source will be sending the packets from here to here and then from this router to this router the receiver will be receiving from this path so this is the path that is decided so how to uh, decide or how to reserve this path we call it in virtual circuit approach there are three phases so one is the setup phase setting up the path first and then sending the data and then once again the tear down phase that is the deleting that particular path so in this particular virtual circuit approach the router is forwarding the packet based on the label which the packet carries whereas in the datagram approach the router is forwarding the tape, uh, packet based on the destination address as i said in my previous video lecture every router is maintaining a forwarding table so and that table has got two columns that is the destination address is in the first column and the port numbers are that is the respective port numbers are placed in the second column so destination address port number next destination address port number so this way the router is going to forward the packet that particular technique is adopted in the datagram approach and there is no path established okay on demand in the datagram approach what is happening is on demand the route is selected and the route is uh, the packet traverses towards the receiver side whereas in the virtual circuit approach first the path is decided which path has to be used to send the packets from the source to the destination so here in this particular you can see this is the path that is decided from by the sender and the receiver is going to receive the packet so this path step this path setup is done in the setup phase by using what two packets called as the request packets from the sender side and the acknowledgement packet from the receiver side so this exchange of request and acknowledgement packet happens in the sender in the setup phase and these packets carry a label called as flow label so in detail you can see how this flow label is used in identifying what the packet when it is received at the receiver side it is there in the textbook the illustrations in the forozen textbook but remember that flow label is the one based on which the router will forward because the router knows that okay this flow label is for this path only and hence flow label is an indication for the router to use the same path until the packet reaches the destination so that is how the path is established here the path is fixed here the when we say path is fixed in that path we come across different network components that is the routers are there so in in other way we can say that in the virtual circuit approach the resources are reserved reserved then it then the packet need not have to wait at the buffer at the router immediately the packet gets processed because the path between the sender and the receiver is decided on this particular path whichever packets come is from sender a only so the router will process the packets that are coming from the sender a and it will go towards the receiver side so this way the resources are reserved here you are trying to reserve this path in the virtual circuit approach so there is no question of what the packets arriving out of order in this virtual circuit approach in which approach if the order is 1 2 3 4 then in the virtual circuit approach at the receiver side you will receive what in the same sequence 1 2 3 4 because here is 1 2 the third packet follows the fourth packet follows in the same way it travels so this is the difference between the network datagram network and virtual circuit approach to give an analogy i'll just tell you one thing suppose if you are traveling to a some place then you are going to reserve a seat in that particular bus or train so that means your journey will be safe if you reserve it isn't it you will be comfortably traveling that is the virtual circuit approach you are reserving it and to reserve you are paying extra so that means virtual circuit approach is costlier 
but datagram approach is on demand you haven't reserved the seat but you are taking a risk suppose if the seat is available you will be able to travel comfortably otherwise you need not get a seat you have to be standing throughout your journey or sometimes if it is filled you may not be able to enter into the bus or train because there are no seats available so that way on risk on demand only your request will be fulfilled that is the datagram approach so look at the differences between we say datagram approach is a connectionless so there is no connection established before sending the packet in the datagram approach whereas in the virtual circuit connection oriented a connection is set up here then datagram approach is an on demand on demand the resources if available will be provided to the packet for pro processing whereas in virtual circuit all the resources are reserved for the packet so it will be processed immediately and move towards the next router next net network same route and may or may not so the datagram approach based on the availability of the resources may follow the same route or many a times each of the packet goes via different route whereas in virtual circuit approach always it takes the same route and in the virtual circuit approach first you are going to have a data uh, first you are going to have a setup here that is the root setup so we say root establishment phase then you will carry out the data transfer and finally you will delete that path that means you will delete that root from the table so these are the three phases involved here in sending the data whereas in datagram approach you can see here in the virtual in the datagram approach it is directly sending the data transfer and datagram approach is not costlier because we know that we are not spending anything on reserving the resources whereas in the virtual circuit it becomes a bit costlier datagram approach is not reliable because sometimes what will happen is the day packet started traversing towards the receiver via different routes sometimes because of the uh, failure in the router okay any problem in the network more congestion in the network a packet may not reach the destination host that's why we say we cannot rely on this datagram approach virtual circuit is reliable since you have already made all this path all the resources reserved so it is there is a guarantee delivery of the data packet of the data receiving at the other end and in the datagram approach always the router forwards based on the destination address whereas here the virtual circuit approach the router forwards based on the flow level so looking at the differences between datagram and virtual circuit more or less we can say that datagram approach is the is more advantageous than the virtual circuit approach and it is this approach that is used presently in the internet whether it is ipv4 addressing or ipv6 addressing so i shall be discussing those things in detail thank you thank you everyone take care bye bye